with a new stadium rising just to the west of us. For now, we're back for football in the familiar setting of Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park. Johnson now to return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and 10. Man in motion here is Hollins. Quick throw here is complete. So they have these rules for the receivers, Mike. They call them green grass rules. And the idea is if you're running across the field and you're looking at the quarterback, you're going to stay on the run. If you're not looking at the quarterback, that tells him, I'm going to sit in this soft zone. I'm going to what they call punch and pivot and stop. And that tells the quarterback to put the ball on your chest. That nonverbal communication between the receiver and the quarterback recognizing when you're open, stay open, that's the stuff that makes a lot of these offenses so difficult to defend. First and 10 now from the 36. Once again, it's Cook. Maybe a yard. Off the play fake, here's Allen. Open man downfield, it's Kincaid. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. These are the chunk plays they thought they could get here against this pass defense. They thought the passing game favored their offense in this matchup, and I think we can expect this to be the case the rest of the game. Here's a handoff to Cook. Woo! Well, he shows you the elusiveness getting out of one tackle, but... Not the other fortunate, really, to get back to the line of scrimmage on that play. So often when it comes to safeties, Mike, we talk about their speed and their range. But for him to be able to come up and make a tackle and be physical at the point of attack and keep this ball carrier to no gain, that's pretty impressive. On second down, here is Allen. That one complete to Hollins. And he'll get about six before he's taken down. Seventh play of this opening drive, and here's third down. Out of the gun, here's Allen. And this ball incomplete on third down. On fourth pass now for the Bills field goal. This a 48-yard attempt. Through the falling snow, the kick is good. And the Bills will take a 3-0 lead. And that's a good drive right out of the gate. They're able to make some plays, move the ball down the field. I know they didn't get a touchdown, but that is a good positive result. Three points on that opening drive. We'll see the response as the kick's away. On the return, here comes Gibson. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. Three tight ends in the game to start the drop. A first carry for Ramondre Stevenson. And that'll be a pickup of three. They face second down and seven. 
And the first carry for Antonio Gibson. And he is fortunate to get past the line of scrimmage. Call it a yard at most. Terrell Bernard, they're on the tackle. Now, following the run, one of the offensive linemen leading the way is athletic training staff looking at him. So we'll step aside. Here comes third and six. Working out of the gun, it's May. Oh, his first throw of the game is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Rasul Douglas. They'll come up first and ten at the 40. Man in motion here is Hollins. He'll take a shot here, back of the end zone. And that's going to wind up uncatchable out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. I can sit up here all day, Mike, and we can talk about the missed throw. But I think a lot of the credit has to go to the pass defense. Not only did they do a good job making it difficult for them to complete the pass, but I think they saved the touchdown along the way. On play action, Allen. This one punt by Khalil Shakir. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. Well, it goes without saying. You want to play wide receiver in the NFL, Mike, how well can you change directions? How fast can you get your body from one direction to another? And when you can cut like this guy, I'm not sure how you guard him. Man in motion here is Hollins. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Sometimes it's those footsteps. I don't care how long you've been playing or at what level you've been playing at. When that defender's bearing down, you really get a good idea what guys are willing to go through contact to secure a catch. And in this case, what guys are unwilling. That ball incomplete. Got the hands in there to break it up. Could have been a big gainer. Instead, it sets up a third down. It's hard to play that ball any better than the way that defender did right there. I mean, to stay patient throughout the entire play and make sure that not only are you in prime position to make it, but that once the ball is there, attack it, knock it down, and save a touchdown. Give him 11 on the scramble and give them a new set of downs. Having a quarterback with this ability to run is such an X factor in today's NFL. It's an element of their offense that you have to be prepared for on every single play. Here we see it on third down. Starts out as a pass. Nowhere to go with the ball. He tucks it, turns into a runner. Picks up the first down. Allen going to give it to Cook. And he'll take this forward for about three. It's second down. They'll keep it on the ground with Cook. And he'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. You want to see linebackers play downhill, Mike, meaning there's not a lot of side-to-side -side pursuit. They're attacking the line of scrimmage, attacking the ball carrier. That's exactly what we saw out of this guy here. He's able to make the stop at the line of scrimmage and keep it to no gain. On third down, it's Allen. This is caught toward the side of the end zone. Amari Cooper. Touchdown, Buffalo. And this is where it pays to have a strong arm to throw this sort of outbreaking route, Mike, towards the boundary in tight coverage. you got to have a lot of faith that you're going to get that ball there. If you're a little late or this ball is underthrown, it could result in a pick six the other direction instead he fires it and he puts it on a line and the result is a touchdown
Following the touchdown, Bass is back to kick it off. The return team going to let that one go. It'll go through the end zone. It's a touchback. The visitors' offense ready to take over for their second possession. The deficit is at 10, so an important drive forthcoming. Getting started with first and 10. To throw now, May. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Nice job there by the defender. He's able to break up the pass, but I think if he's able to get there just a little bit sooner, now you can get two hands on the ball and give yourself a chance to come down with an even bigger play and come away with the pick. May to throw on second down. He'll be hit as he throws this time, and it's going to fall incomplete. He might be fortunate just to avoid the sack and it'll set up a third down. Based on the routes downfield, it looked like the protection was designed to give the quarterback a little bit more time to wait for things to uncover downfield. So give credit up front to the defensive line. Immediate pressure early speeds up the quarterback's clock. He's got no choice than to get rid of it. Probably a little bit earlier than he would have preferred. But I think it would be a bit of an understatement, Mike, to say that this offense has come out today a bit flat. They haven't picked up a single first down through the first two drives, and barring a really aggressive decision here, they'll have to wait to their third series to see if they can make it happen. And good coverage by the punt team. They stop him before he can get any return cranked up. The home team's offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession. They've got the 10-0 advantage here early. And they'll see if they can add to it. Beginning on this drive, first and 10. In motion, Shakir. On first and 10, it's Allen. A hit as he throws there. It's going to wind up incomplete. The pressure got to him that time. And it'll set up second down. They'll run the draw with Cook. And he'll bring this across the 30-yard line. It's a pickup of four. Third and six. From the gun, Josh Allen. He's got the hook up there to Cooper. Remember, he had the touchdown catch the last time they had the football. Here, he's got a first down. I can't tell you, Mike, how many of these offensive skill players around the league, they look at man coverage as like a personal offense. After that last completion on the way back to the huddle, I think he had a few choice words for him. I think he said, hey, man, you can't guard me one-on-one. -on -one. You better ask your coach for some help, because if he doesn't, you're going to be in for a long day. That's to Cooper again. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove. And there's these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way. Every play they call, you're wide open. And you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about. So they got to continue to ride the hot hand because right now on that field, there's no mistake in who it is. And they'll take this down inside the 35. This is what every offense looks to do, Mike. They want to attack the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. And oftentimes, that's where the chunk plays come. Give it to your receiver on the move and let them do the rest. One more time going up top with Allen. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. And this is something the defense knew they had to contain coming in today, Mike. They worked all week on containing this quarterback. But here we are. 
early on in the game. A nice scramble there, good yardage, and he's able to pick up the first down. On the zone read, a handoff here to Cook. A gain of four as he's taken down. Here's second and six. On the handoff, this is Cook. And he's bottled up after a gain of a yard. Third and five. Now it's Allen. That's taken in by Shakir. I think this is one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks, and now they got a fourth down decision to make. So instead of going for the first down, in comes the field goal unit. Bit of a surprise here. Three for three in the game, as this one is also good. And the Bills will open up a 13 to nothing lead. So anytime an offense comes off the field after settling for three, you always have to take the good with the bad. In order to get down there in field goal range, you had to do something positive to move the ball. But at the same time, how are we going to be able to finish these drives and convert for six the next time we get down there? On the return, here comes Gibson. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The visitors' offense getting their final instructions before heading back onto the field. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and ten. The motion man here is Bourne. On first and ten, here's May. Open man there, it is Bourne. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. They'll come up now for second down and four. Operating from the shotgun, it's May. Hauled in by the tight end, Henry. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. I just love the feel this tight end has, Mike, for the defense when they play zone coverage. Certain guys, they want to run routes like their lines on a piece of paper, and they end up going from uncovered space to covered space, but not the case here. He knew he was open. He knew he was in the right spot. He stayed open. The quarterback delivered a good ball. We are through one. 13-0 is our score. And EA Sports NFL Sunday returns after this. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second in inches. A run here with Stevenson. And he's fighting to try to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not do it. This is going to be a loss of a yard. You can see the running back. He's waiting patiently for that cutback lane to open, and it just never did. Great job by the defense, continuing to string that play out sideways, and they're able to take him down for a loss. They'll try to run for this. It's Stevenson, and he'll get to the 48, and that's going to be good enough. It'll pick up a first down. The motion man here is Bourne. 
Off the play fake, it's May. He's got his big tight end, Henry. He'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Second and seven. On the give, this is Stevenson. And he'll get this ahead. Gain of about four. And it leads to third down. gun here's May he'll try to run for it and May will not risk it into this the first down this is exactly how it's supposed to look on third down his eyes are downfield nothing materializes he quickly decides he can do it himself picks up the first down and then to protect himself with the slide well done Throwing on first and ten is May. Oh, and a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. Here's May thrown into a sea of bodies but it's complete and that'll go for a gain of seven and it's going to set up third down contact up front did they get one of the defenders to jump Set to go now on first and ten. Throwing now is May. Now a deep ball toward the end zone. And the Bills are going to get the football here as it'll come out to the 20. Throwing now, Allen here on first down. Quickly to the outside and complete. Nice job here by the defense. Did a good job just covering up everything for the most part. So once this ball was caught, really didn't have much of a choice but to just head out of bounds and pick up a modest gain. They'll come up here on second down and five. Here comes the rookie fourth rounder out of Kentucky, Ray Davis. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. A gain there of 27 yards. Nice pick up here by Ray Davis. And I really like his skill set in this Buffalo Bills organization, Mike. I mean, remember, everything is going to go through Josh Allen. He's the distributor. He's the point guard. So now to have another back on the field that is good in both the run game and the passing game. I and mean, here's a guy, Mike, that had... 14 rushing touchdowns, seven receiving touchdowns his last year in college. I mean, he can do both equally well and just gives Josh Allen one more weapon. A carry for Cook. Cook with a first down and much more. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. The goal of every offense, Mike, is to find a way to establish a balance between the run and the pass. With some success here early on the ground, we'll open up things as the game unfolds for the quarterback in this passing game. Cooper going in motion. So now they'll throw it with Allen. Oh, and a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. 
Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. They go play action now. Here's Allen. Now he'll run it. Well, we've seen time and time again just how dangerous this quarterback can be, Mike, when he decides to tuck it and take off. So that is a great job defensively to rally to the football and hold him to just a short game. Here's third and seven. From the gun, it's Allen. To the goal line and in! Amari Cooper! Touchdown, Bills! His second touchdown of this first half. Pass now for the extra point. Through the snowflakes, this one good. And the Bills add on one more as they extend their second quarter lead. Following the touchdown, Bass is back to kick it off. On the return, here comes Gibson. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. The Patriots offense ready to see what they can do with this next possession. They'll try to get this a bit more respectable before the break. It has not been their half to this point. Let's see what they do on this drive. First down now. He'll start on the ground with Stevenson. He'll struggle to get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe he gets a yard out of that one. It's second down. We'll go right back to Stevenson. And they'll bring him down around the 27-yard line. It was Rasul Douglas that time to end the play. What can they do here on third down and seven? May going to look to throw. Open man, Demario Douglas. Pickup of 11 yards on that one. Good for a Patriots first down. It's been a rough first half, but now as we approach halftime, Mike, you got to start getting some wins. And it could be something small like we just saw here. Some positive plays, build a little confidence on that sideline. So as you go into halftime, you have something to build on. The open man is Osborne. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's second and three to go. Working out of the gun, it's May. And they'll get him down after a gain of five, but that is enough for a first down. Nothing a quarterback loves more, Mike, than being able to pick up a first down without being forced to push the ball downfield and force it past the line to gain. He settles for the underneath check down. He's confident that his receiver is going to pick up the rest after the catch. Here's Gibson. He'll try to push forward. He'll wind up getting three yards with that one. Christian Benford brings him down. On the carry, it's Stevenson. 
Oh, ho! Backfield empties. Five receivers in the formation for third down and five. Throwing is May. He'll find his tight end. That's Henry. So the hope is when you call these underneath drag routes, you're trying to have your tight end come out the backside of the defense in space. So when you put the ball on him early, it leads to big yards after the catch. In this case, they don't get the real big play they were hoping for, but they'll definitely take it. Now Stevenson. Strong running there. Inside the 30. On the move with a gain of nine. Second and a yard. The throw is May. And this will be incomplete. As this offense continues to put anything together and score some points, they need to just take a step back. Then they say, okay, we've struggled here in the first half putting points on the scoreboard. Don't worry about chasing points. Let's chase first downs. Let's chase completions. Just start building something small. And oftentimes when you take that approach, it snowballs. And next thing you know, you find your groove. And he'll be taken down as we tick down to the two-minute warning. The first-round pick looking right at home in this offense. It's a first down. To throw now, May. That one incomplete. They can't hook up there. And that incompletion takes us to the two-minute warning. Goes without saying, like, you have to be smart with the ball, especially down here in the red zone. You're already in scoring position. And I understand they're trying to come away with a touchdown, but at the very least, come away with three. Worst-case scenario is you turn the ball over and you come away with nothing. That one incomplete. They can't hook up there. And that incompletion takes us to the two-minute warning. You can feel them starting to press a little bit, especially with this passing game. They find themselves so close to the end zone, they got to get it over the goal line. You got to be a little bit more accurate. You got to be a little bit smarter with the ball. And right now, the timing, the spacing, it's just not matching up. And he nearly takes it in, but they're going to say he's short of the goal line. So now it is fourth and goal. So instead of going for the first down, in comes the field goal unit. Bit of a surprise here. Sly's kick is good. And the Pats are on the board just before halftime. You know, I think it's safe to say here, Mike, as this offense leaves the field, they wanted to stay out there and go for it. But I think in this case, the coach is playing the long game. He understands that these three points now can end up being very valuable as this game moves along. Joey Sly back out to kick this one away. Johnson now to return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Bills' offense make their way out to take over once more. The lead is 17 as they try to maybe pull away in this one. It is first and 10. In motion, Shakir. Now Allen on first down. Quick throw here is complete. Into space at the 45. He may go. And he is short of the goal line, but they are in business. 
at the one yard line. The quarterback's going to get all the credit for the passing yards here, but Mike, you know what makes a really good quarterback? Really good weapons on offense, and this is a great example here why. Not a real deep pass, albeit accurate and on time, but then after the catch is where a bulk of the game came from. A dive, and he's in! Games cut. Touchdown, Buffalo. This defense continuing to give up points. Greg, you've been on offenses like this. This has to feel great when you're on a roll like this. And it's really twofold, Mike. First and foremost, just like you said, every offense in the league works all week. We want to start out fast. We want to establish some early rhythm and play our style of game. They've certainly done that. Now on the flip side, what does it do to your opponent? It takes them completely out of their game plan, knowing this early in the game, they're chasing points. Still a little time, final minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. Across the 20, they'll mark them down before the 25-yard line. And that's where the offense will take over. The Patriots offense gonna take over here in the final minute of this first half. They'll do so with first and 10. The motion man here is Bourne. May now on first and 10. There's Osborne with the grab. This team's offense going to take over here in the last minute of this first half. They'll come to the line now on second and two. Now, May, that'll be complete to Gibson. And they bring him down, but not until he gets the 45-yard line. Here's first and ten. Now they'll set up to throw. He runs with it. A gain there of 21. First down, New England. There was a lot of questions surrounding this quarterback about whether his style of play from college would transfer to the NFL game. Well, his ability to create with his legs certainly has here today. We see it with his ability to escape pressure out of the pocket, and he's able to pick up the first down. Sly comes on. They'll try the field goal here. This one from 52 yards away. And he missed it. It's no good. Everything's going wrong. Unable to cut into this big deficit. Man, that would have been such a nice boost for this group going into halftime. The snap was good. The hold was good. He just couldn't quite get it through the uprights. On the ground, it's Cook to start this drive. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. So we have come to halftime here at Orchard Park with the Bills out front. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports. Halftime report. Coach. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. The Patriots offense going to have a first crack at it as we begin this third quarter. They are in need of points in a big way as they set out on first and ten.
Slot man in motion left. Look to hit him with a jet sweep here to begin this drive. And this defense having nothing of that. They get him down behind the line. After the loss of three, it is second and 13. Now a give running left, it is Stevenson. Fighting off tacklers, pushing his way forward. Good gain of about four. Third and nine. Back to throw. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. And a big strike for good yardage there, all the way up to midfield. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. Initially, a nice job by the receiver. He actually was open downfield. He was able to get behind the defense, but the window closed up so quickly they couldn't get the ball to him. Prevents the big play. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Operating from the shotgun, it's May. That one taken in by Douglas. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. This pitch and catch may have looked routine, but I promise you, Mike, these types of anticipatory throws, especially outside the numbers, they don't occur without countless reps, oftentimes when nobody's even watching. Throwing on third down is May. He finds a man. That's Osborne. 15-yard pickup there. Good for a Patriots first down. One of the things that makes him one of the best receivers in the NFL, Mike, is his ability to create separation downfield. He makes it so easy for his quarterback to not only find him, but to constantly create a nice throwing window like he did right there. May to throw again. Looking middle there, but it's incomplete. Try again, it's second and ten. It's the tight end Henry in motion. Off the play fake, it's May. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. But he can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. Throw again is May. He'll swing this one out wide to his running back. A very nice open field tackle there. He could not get free and gains nothing. Joey Sly comes on. They'll try the field goal here. This one from 47 yards out. Sly's kick is good. And the Patriots cut three off the lead, but they still face a sizable deficit. Joey Sly back out to kick this one away. Johnson now to return. Yeah! And he'll be forced out of bounds, but a very solid return. The Bills offense ready for their first possession of this second half. 
They've definitely outplayed their opponents to this point in the third quarter. They might be looking to grind out some first downs and chew up some valuable time on the clock. Man in motion here is Hollins. On first and ten, it's Allen. That's taken in. It's James Cook. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Second down and eight. Slot man in motion right. On play action, Allen. The ball deflected at least a couple of times, but it'll fall to the ground. It's incomplete. I'm not sure if it's this big lead or if it's just this second half pressure getting to him, but that's just a careless throw by the quarterback. And don't let this lead fool you. Throws like that can change this game in an instant. And this defense knows they gave him one and they let him off the hook. On third down, it's Allen. Oh, and that throw not able to be pulled in. It's incomplete. Looked like he may have got a little ahead of himself there. And it's going to bring up fourth down. So the hope is your one-third down conversion from really jump-starting a possession that ultimately leads in points. But after that third down incompletion, kind of throws a wrench into those plans. And that's a nice job of getting to him, making sure that return was not going anywhere. The Pates offense ready to get back at it. They'll begin with first and ten. A carry now for Gibson. He'll work his way ahead for a gain of about four. Here's a second and six. The motion man here is born. They'll run here with Gibson. And he will not be able to get free, picking up only a yard. Now it's third down. the gun here's May and that is incomplete missed opportunities like these are a big reason why they find themselves down double digits here in the third quarter Mike points on this possession could have gone a long way towards making this game competitive but instead poor execution especially in the passing game and it's another wasted drive Uh, but he cannot get away. Great job down there to hold him to a short return. The Bills offense ready to get back to work. They'll start it here with a first and ten. Cooper going in motion. On first down, it's Allen. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. To say football is a game of inches may be an understatement after that last play. I mean, if he gets there just a little bit quicker, he can get two hands on it and reel it in. And instead of just forcing the incomplete, he could have had himself a pick. Allen, going to give it to Cook. And that will get him back on schedule. Good pickup of seven. Sets up third and three. Oh 
from the gun at Dallin. And that is incomplete. And barring an aggressive decision here on fourth down, it just seemed like a really wasted possession to go three and out, not able to pick up a single first down. Not only do you not able to gain any field position advantage, it really takes a lot of the wind out of your sails as you find yourself jogging off the field and the punt team coming on. A fair catch called, and he's going to take it out beyond the 25-yard line. So now the New England offense getting ready for their next possession. They'll start out first down and 10. The motion man here is Bourne. To throw on first down is May. The open man is Osborne. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. May to throw on second down. Hit as he throws, and it is incomplete. Just couldn't deliver that one the way he wanted to. Not really sure if there was much there anyways. We do know it'll be third down. Here's May. And that is incomplete. He's already been a little reckless with his decision-making up until this point. He had to do a better job of finding the matchups, finding the space on the field so everything is not a forced ball into these tight windows. Patriots ready for the punt. Here comes a return, and he'll get forward a few yards. On the That's where the offense will take over. The Bills offense back onto the field for their next possession. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. From the gun, Josh Allen. A short throw caught by Kincaid. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. The drag route is such a good way to get the ball early into the hands of your tight end and take some pressure off the quarterback and give him an easy completion. The size and the athleticism allows them to try to pick up more yards but do it after the catch. He did a good job of making one man miss but could not get away from this defense in the end. It turns into a loss of yardage. All week long, they stress, Mike, that we have to get as many defenders to this ball carrier as possible. They know he's going to make some guys miss. He's going to be hard to get on the ground. But you can see the effect of rallying to the ball as it had here. They're able to take him down, and they're able to do it for a loss. On third down, it's Josh Allen. And that is incomplete. All these defensive linemen, I promise you, they all want sacks. That is how you get paid. That is how you make your name. But it's also the other plays where you can affect the quarterback. Can you make them feel uncomfortable? Or in this case, you don't get the sack, but it was the hit that's able to alter the pass to fall incomplete. A fair catch called and taken right at the 30-yard line. The visitors' offense headed back to take over once more. First and ten. Throwing now is May. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. I got high standards for offensive players, but in this case, Mike, I think I'm giving all the credit to the defender. He timed that one up perfectly, and what could have been an easy play ends up as an incomplete. Hauled in by the tight end, Henry. 
They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. Now, this is the epitome of a really short throw and a really nice run after catch. And listen, for a quarterback, it all counts the same. You don't always have to throw the plays, and these drag routes can be very, very effective. On the ground, Gibson. And the struggles in the running game continue. They take him down behind the line. Where a defender makes his tackles tells you a lot about his abilities. And for an interior defensive lineman, Mike, to make plays on the outside of the formation just speaks to his speed, his effort, his ability to run down the line. And we saw it here, and he takes the back down for a loss. On second down, it's May. Sending it deep, looking for Osborne. And they bring him down there, but it is inside the 10. It is going to be first and goal. Those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day. And you can see pre-snap, the quarterback loved his matchup. He allowed his receiver to work downfield. Perfect throw, and now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points. Here's a run. And he will dive into the end zone. Antonio Gibson. Touchdown, Patriots. We were talking during the break, Mike. We felt that this was kind of a do-or-die drive. They felt like they needed to come away with the touchdown here, and now they're showing a little life. Yeah, a little, little bit of belief, don't you think? Everyone on that field knows they've been a part of a comeback before. It's a pretty big mountain, but a good way to get started here to begin this half. Following the touchdown, here's Sly to kick it away. Johnson now to return. He'll get across the 20, mark him down at the 23-yard line. So now here comes the Buffalo offense heading back out onto the field. The lead is a couple of touchdowns as this drive kicks off first and 10. Man in motion here is Hollins. They'll start on the ground with Cook. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. Just watch the speed of the pursuit out of this safety on this tackle, Mike. His ability to play from depth and attack the line of scrimmage and meet that ball carrier in the hole and keep him to no gain. You don't see a lot of safeties able to make that tackle in the open field. That's pretty impressive. Slot receiver headed right. On second down, here is Allen. That one complete to Hollins. Here's a third down and four. Out of the gun, here's Allen. That pass sideline is caught. Nice catch. Stays in bounds. And he's got the first down. Terrific job with the feet to make that one a grab. This is why the timing of these routes is so critical. If that ball is thrown a little bit later, he's unable to keep his feet in bounds. But instead, the quarterback is on time and accurate. And the receiver does a nice job not only securing the catch, but ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. And that is... Incomplete. The tight end Kincaid in motion. Allen going to throw again. Oh, in trouble. Down he goes. Just another example of poor decision-making. I mean, making a bad play even worse. 
There's nothing there on second down. Just throw the ball into the stands and move on to third. Now you take that sack, and it's going to take a miracle to stay on the field. Now Allen facing third and long. He finds Hollins on the ground. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. That's catch three just on this drop. And it gets his team a first down. So three quarters have come and gone. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. On the zone read, a handoff here to Cook. And he finds a little bit of space. He'll take this forward for a gain of four. Man in motion here is Hollins. From the shotgun, it's Allen. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. I think the rest of those receivers in the huddle have all come to the realization that they might not be getting a target anytime soon. And frankly, I don't blame them. I mean, they're riding the hot hand, and rightfully so. Until this defense proves that they can stop him in the passing game, I come back to just continue to go back to him time and time again. Work in the middle of the field, but that is incomplete. James Cook, the intended target. And it'll bring up second down. Cooper going in motion. Now Allen to throw on second down. That's over the middle to his tight end, Kincaid. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. An interesting decision there by the play caller to put this ball in the air, Mike. You're up by two scores. Traditional wisdom says, hey, we're up by two scores late in the fourth quarter. We've got to keep this clock moving. You don't want to risk an incompletion. Now, they convert. They're able to secure the catch and pick up a fresh set of downs. That's going to enable them to continue to burn more clock. And without a stop, their opponent's not going to get the ball back. Second down and three. On second down, Cook. And he'll be close to a first down. A gain of a couple as they mark him just short. They have converted twice on third down on this drive. And they need a yard here with third and one. He will take this one across into the end zone. Josh Allen. Touchdown, Bills. Greg, that's one of those scores where it's not completely over, but it's getting to be about that time. Yeah, Mike, I just think they're entering miracle stage right now, and I just don't think there's any coming back from this deficit. Bass's kick is good. And the Bills will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. Following the touchdown, Bass is back to kick it off. On the return, here comes Gibson. And he's down at the 23, and that's where the offense will take over. 
The visitors offense getting those helmets back head out for their next possession. Things not looking good. But see if they get the turnaround going here. They'll start this drive with first down. Working out of the gun, it's May. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. Operating from the shotgun, it's May. He keeps it himself. You know, Mike, nice job here by the quarterback just understanding on these early downs, you just don't want to go backwards. So he's able to avoid the negative play, pick up a little bit, and mostly avoid the sack. Third down, three to go. May going to look to throw. He'll try to set up the screen to Stevenson. Good looking screen play there, a gain of 11 and a first down. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead, and the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Throwing on second down, May. And a good job rallying to the football. Holding just a gain of a yard and sets up third down. May to the air once more. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. Nice job there defensively to keep him in front of the marker. It's going to bring up fourth down. We see teams more and more throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, really for two reasons. One, they're confident that they can pick up the first down with yards after the catch. Two, team's willingness to go for it on fourth down is at an all-time high. They'll come up here first and ten. To throw again is May. Will set up the screen for Gibson. Ah, they smelled the screen and took care of it. Blown up in the backfield. Well, the best screen plays, of course, you want the offensive lineman out in front of the running back. They act as his escort, his lead blockers. But what you can't afford is for the defenders to be in the backfield and get to the running back. Because those offensive linemen, they can't help them at all. Here's May again. There's that man again. Another catch. Here comes third and six. May to throw again. And this is going to be incomplete. That is great work there, making things difficult defensively. It'll set up a fourth down. Little miscommunication there. Now brings up third down. It just doesn't appear that the quarterback and the wide receiver were on the same page on that last pass. Now or never, they'll throw on fourth down. And he's going to have the first down An aggressive call there but it works out as they convert on fourth down we're starting to see this a lot in the nfl not only fourth down tries are up 
but throwing the ball short of the sticks. Teams are so reliant nowadays on yards after the catch. It can feel a little dicey upon reception, but a nice job here, and fortunately for them, it picks up the first down. And that keeps them ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's a second and three forthcoming. Oh, maybe a free play as he'll look to throw it. This is incomplete, but there is a flag. It is back at the line of scrimmage, and this could be a first down. Motion the slot man left. They run on the jet sweep, and he'll work forward for about four. It's second down. They send him right out of the slot. They fake the jet sweep and give it up the middle. And it'll be a pickup of three. So third down, forthcoming. Come out of the gun, here's May. He'll look middle, and he's got his man complete. And the Patriots are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them down to the one. And this is what the offense needed. Now, after that last completion, you still trail here in the fourth quarter. You need scores, and you need scores fast, so they cannot take their time. I wouldn't be surprised to get them right back up on the line of scrimmage and try to score here now that it's first and goal. Now whistles, play clock at zero, and that'll cost them five. Now it is first and goal. It's the tight end Henry in motion. give up the middle to Stevenson and they are all over that on defense good surge drops him back let's put him at the nine yard line when you can get this level of run support out of your secondary Mike man what an advantage for any defense this defensive back clearly reads run gets off his block and he's able to take down the back for a loss of yards and that's going to be incomplete coverage was good that time the contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down that was a perfectly timed hit and I think it actually saved six points Mike he got there just as the ball did and I think it was the contact that separated him from the ball no try and throw here's May he's trying to get back to the line of scrimmage but will not and be taken down there Certainly hasn't been their best game in terms of rushing the passer, but you find yourself with the lead here in the fourth quarter. No better time for that pass rush to come alive and see if they can close this game out. The offense will stay out there, but they've got some yards to pick up. Fourth down and goal. And that is not going to work. Incomplete, and they turn it over on downs. The home team's offense getting set to work. They'll begin with first down from their own 11. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. A run up the middle with Cook. And he'll plow forward for a gain of four yards.
The tight end going in motion to the left. Once again, it's Cook. And he's going to be taken down. And that will take us to the two-minute warning. Here now, third and five. On third down, they go with Cook. And he's going to have a Bills first down as he'll get this up to the 25. Wow, a little change in play call here, and that's typically not what we see at this down and distance. That's typically a passing down, Mike, but they catch the defense off guard, keep the ball on the ground, and they're able to pick up enough for the first down. They'll keep it on the ground with Cook. He'll be taken down after a gain of two. They'll come up on a second down and eight. a win here for the Bills. They get it done to the delight of this crowd. We saw a snowball or two launched in jubilation as time expired. Now these fans, we have to battle the roadway. Safe getting home, folks, but sure it was worth it after a home victory. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Bills are victorious as we say so long from Buffalo.